Hey guys, in this video we're going to install Samba on my Raspberry Pi. So this is a, a, basically a mini Raspberry Pi NAS that I set up. So in any case, sudo to root and run apt update first just to make sure your repo is up to date and run apt install Samba to in, start installing the package for Samba. So we're running Raspberry Pi OS, the 64-bit version. Now um, we're going to go ahead and just say Samba password dash A user 1. So we're going to type in a password here and create an initial user. So this is going to be the user you use to authenticate when you want to connect to the share that we're going to set up. <clears throat> so now I'm going to edit the Samba config file at csambasmb.conf. And I'm going to go down here to the bottom and just add a configuration for a share that I'd like to add. Now, if you like, you can go ahead and clean up this config file too, remove anything that's unnecessary, like printers and comments and stuff like that, up to you. But in any case, adding a share called storage one. Now I'm gonna check the disks on the system and note that there's a basically a mounted file system called tank one. And so I'm gonna edit the path here to share tank one, because that's, that's my data directory that I actually wanna share. I probably should have changed the, the name of the share too. But in any case, sharing that file system as storage one. So the share name will be storage one and the, the, the mounted directory will be tank one. So in any case, we, here we see uh, the service is up and running. Now I'm gonna enable it just to make sure and I'm gonna also run start even though it's completely unnecessary. So I did systemctl enable and systemctl start. Check the status skin. Yep, it's still up and running as you know it would be. So we're also going to want to make sure we restart it just to make sure. Now we're going to go ahead and test this out. Connect to server. And there we go. I'm going to hit connect. And there we go. We're connected to our share. So that's pretty much it. So feel free to go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up. Also might want to hit that subscribe button. Um, I just uh, did another video where I showed you how I set up uh, a ZFS Z pool um, with two mirrored disks like you see in the picture here. So basically the Raspberry Pi that I set this uh, Samba server up on was um, it, it's, it basically has two uh, SATA disks connected to with the Raspberry Pi using SATA to USB adapters and um, I mirrored them in a ZFS Z pool and that is my data directory that I shared with Samba. So uh, yeah, definitely go check that video out also. That's gonna be posted at about the same time I'm posting this video. And um, yeah, you don't wanna miss out on all our other great content, so definitely hit the subscribe button, um, leave a comment down below, and you know if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, whatever you wanna say, leave a comment down below. Um, if you know something I don't know, leave a comment down below, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video. And um, also um, hit the bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we come out with new videos. And that's about it for today. So uh, hopefully you found this useful or interesting. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.